come out today and Buddha and I are going to chop down the rest of the hazels. We've just seen the tuis and the bellbird and the blossom of this tree. I'm going to try and catch it on the film. Might need a better angle. Right after this cut here with the strop, unfortunately Buddha tripped on a stump on the ground. So we called it quits for the day and uh, here is Jimmy, Buddha's mate, who helped me cut down the big branches on the second tree. Now it's time for me to tidy up the stumps and get everything to its uh, final position.
why am I so clever that I have to do this with a fucking handsaw? Should have just left the rough cuts. Why shape it at all? that for another day. My shoulders need a break. Well, we are well into spring now and as you can see these trees are greening up and I'm super busy in the rest of the garden. I've lost motivation so I'm gonna leave those last four big cuts to next year. It's bigger um, it'll probably be Better for everyone, me and the tree. I still got all that tidy up work to do too. This is what's left of the tree with the four remaining cuts. I left a few um, small sticks on there, so hopefully we'll get some hazelnuts off this one. Oh even this year or next year and here is the other tree originally it had that sort of wide open look about it 
the one I thought would be a, a good practice run. And overall it has definitely opened up the canopy to those back trees, I mean, how could it not? So yeah, now I guess I'll watch them grow and see how I like the shape of them. See if I get any more helpful advice. And uh, try again next year, next winter. This one already has new shoots coming up. How cool is that? So fast. Well, probably more to the point, I'm so slow getting the job done. The real question is, would those shoots be above sheep nibbling height? They're pretty cunning creatures, so probably just jump up and bite them off. But when they get a little larger, they should be resistant. <laughs> 